everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Shauna and welcome to Shauna's World. Yay! So how's everybody doing? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I know it's been so long. I know, I know, I know. I've been really bad, guys, um, with doing videos. Um, just been a lot going on and I, honestly... Okay, I've been lazy, but I've also been busy and out and about. So, anywho, come and get ready with me. As you see, I've started my um, eyebrows, and now I'm going to put on my, uh, what do you call it, my strobe cream. This is what I use as like a um, base for my um, foundation from MAC. You know, I'm a huge MAC fan, so... Anywho, what's what's been going on? Yes, um, weeks have passed. Halloween is over. And uh, yeah, um, what have I been up to? Okay, so first let me start off. I've been shopping, of course, and um, got some really cool things from uh, Zara. And not only Zara, I mean, I've been perfume shopping, got some really great scents, um, some scents that I can definitely recommend. Um, I know this is probably old, but I'm anyway going to show you all. I got this. Ooh, Tom Ford. Oh, this smells so good. It's vanilla. It's called Vanilla Fatal. And it is a perf perfume. Um, it's the real deal. And guys, when you put that scent on, I mean, it will last the whole day. But it just smells so good. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm so, this is like one of my faves now um, as far as perfume is concerned. And I mean, literally, it will stay on the whole day. Um, I purchased another perfume. Hang on. And it is called... Uh, Ling Ling, yes, um, Ling Ling Munich. Um, this perfume perfume is um, from Munich. Um, yeah, I got the travel size um, because I I wasn't sure if I really wanted to get the big size yet. Um, only I wanted to test it and see how it, you know, if it really stays or lasts the whole day. If it's anything comparison to Tom Ford, which I would say it's it's good. It's a really nice scent, but um, actually it didn't last so long. Um, I would say half the day. I mean, after a while, it didn't smell anymore. And this is a perfume, a perfume. Um, as you see, there are three tubes in there or um, travel, they call it travel refill sets. That's exactly what they are, travel refill sets. Um, and normally it would come with a little um, pack where you can, you know, stick the travel size in. I don't know. What, what do you call these? Like cases? Um, this is a different case um, for another perfume that I had, which I got years ago. But it came in like a silver case. But they didn't have any. They ran out. I was so angry about that because I, I wanted to have something special. I, I love to have um, these like travel size perfumes because, um, yeah, I like to throughout the day, if I'm out and about, I like to, you know, refresh myself and, and unfortunately having the big bottle is good and everything, but you know, you can only spray it one time, you know, especially if you're at home, I mean, or if you're out and about, you don't have your perfume to, to, to do the refresh. So personally, I like these travel size better, honestly, because like I said, I like to you know, if I'm out, I can refresh myself. So, yes, I got that. And, um, yeah, it's it's nice, but I, I, I'm, I'm feeling the Tom Ford. So, if you guys get a chance, go and check out the, the, the perfumes from Tom Ford. If you haven't already, I'm probably old with this. Um, I've upgraded in my perfumes. I mean, I like the, the, the perfumes, which are... Um, you know, that which are common, like, oh, I got another one, which is, um, uh, oh, I got C. 
Oh, did I show this one already? I'm not sure. Maybe I sold this one already. But this is a good one from Giorgio Armani. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, but again, um, these these perfumes, they don't last. So, you know, once you put them on, it's gone. Um, it's gone. You know, the scent after two hours, you don't smell anymore. Here's another one I got, which I can definitely recommend. And this is... Um, What's her name? Ah, Carolina Herrera. Yes, this is a good one because this one does last. Believe it or not, it will last the whole day. Um, I, this is like one of my faves, one of my to-go um, perfumes. Um, and the price is not bad. I mean, for the Tom Ford, you know, you're going to be up in the hundreds, but it's worth it. It's good. It's worth it to, to invest in a really good perfume so yes I can recommend it yeah other than that what else did I get um I was at the uh I wasn't at Sephora I was at Douglas Douglas is like the Sephora here in Germany um and there you can get all your makeup products it's mainly where I go to I mean sometimes I'll if I'm in the area or if a Sephora is close by, then I'll go to Sephora. But in general, I usually go to Douglas. So, However, um, MAC has this, um, they have the uh, new line, which is um, the Black Panther line. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. I don't know. The, the palette didn't look all that. The colors look like pretty much like colors that I had already. The only thing I did buy from MAC um See, it's cute. It's got the Black Panther symbol. Um, I got some white eyeliner. And I know you think, a white eyeliner? No, you can do a lot with white eyeliner, believe it or not. It looks really nice. And it's hard to find. I mean, I haven't been able to find no white eyeliner. But, however, I did get the white eyeliner. And this is how it looks. I mean, with the Black Panther symbols on there. You know, hey, Wakanda forever. That was cheesy. Yeah, so this is it, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's pretty thick, and I've already tested out. It goes on really nice. I don't know, maybe I, I might use it today. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I gotta think of something a good eye design. I don't know. What else? Eh, let's see. What else? Oh yes, 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 yes. And um, I don't know, um, Zara, the other day when I went to the ball, I was just realizing, oh man, I don't have that many cool accessories. I mean, I thought I had these like long evening gloves, you know, um, I used to have a pair. I know I do have a pair, but I just didn't have them black. Exactly. They're orange, but they're vintage, really cool. They're suede. But um, for some reason, I was looking for some black uh, long evening gloves and um so i was like where could i find them you know because they look kind of cute you know if you got a little cocktail dress on or whatever i mean they fit to everything it makes the outfit look extremely elegant so however i just happened to go on uh the zara website and oh they have some really nice accessories something to really pimp up your outfit so of course zara bag I don't care what nobody says I like Zara and um, they are really on top of it when it comes to fast fashion so if you don't want to spend all that crazy money on something that you know that's going to play out in a month or two Zara is the place and the prices are right so however um, for everything I've ordered a few things and unfortunately I got so many dust bags um, I don't know what to do with all these dust bags. I mean, this is too much. For each item, there's a dust bag. But however, so this is these are the things that I purchased. I got this. This is so cute. It is a choker. It's a rose choker, and it costs $12.95. So that, that's a decent price. Um, let me show you all what it looks like. I, I, I think this is so 80s um, with this rose choker. I mean, chokers in general is 80s. 
I remember correctly. It was 80s, late 80s, 90s, I would say. But however, looks like this. And then you just tie it around. I think it's cute. Definitely will add some, some uh, I don't know, character to your plain dress. You know, you can have a plain dress. And if you just hook it up with the right accessories, it can make your outfit, it can really elevate your outfit and make it look so classy. Okay, so this is the next piece I got, um, which is also another choker. Um, the other day I wore this. Um, looks like this. And this is velvet. So you could just wrap it around. I mean, you can style this. I mean, the, the strap is obviously very long, so you can do a lot with it. You can wrap it around your neck a few times. Um, or you can just, you know, wear it like this. I don't know if this makes any sense. Something like this. Unfortunately, it might not stay so good, but yeah, you can wear it like this. Or you can wrap it around. Um, the other day when I wore it, I just wore it around my wrist and wrapped it around and kind of made it like into a bracelet, which also looked really nice and elegant. So, yeah, that. And again, a dust bag. Um, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm going to get rid of them. What can you do with all those bags? Yeah, however, and let's see, got these guys. <laughs> these are actually leather, but they look really good with a nice black um, coat on. And um, I used to wear that back in the days. I don't know, I had, I know I had a pair of long gloves, but they look very elegant. Ooh, I got the size M. This was really pushing it, but I didn't want to get an, an L because I thought L might be too um, might be too big, and I think these gloves should fit tight. These are leather, but you know what's really cool and what's what looks really elegant. I don't unfortunately I don't have nothing with me, but to put a ring over a really nice ring looks very you know vintagey and cool and diva like. But um, yeah, that's how I would wear it. Um, I used to wear, like I said, I used to wear these long gloves. I had another pair, but I don't know what happened to them. I got an orange pair of velvet vintage. Looks very nice, but I mean, the the orange is kind of hard to combine it with some of my pieces, so it doesn't really work so well. But the black, of course, they go with any and everything. So, and they look, like I said, they're elegant. These are leather and they retailed for like 49 euro, which I think is okay. It's probably like $50. Um, and then another dust bag. I got these guys. Yay. And these are some actual evening gloves. Um, and they look really nice. Um, they got like little, um, I don't know what you call these sequins. Not see, no, they're not sequins. They have these little ornaments on it. Black. Look really nice. Um, I guess it's a cotton material. So, and this is how they look. They're very long though. Very long. I think I would even say too long. But I mean, if you got a a, a halter top like dress, they can look really classy. This is what they look like. If you ask me, I think they're too big. Little, little, they, they're a little bit loose. I think these gloves, they, to me, in my opinion, they should fit a little bit tighter. But this is, I got these in a size M. So whatever. I don't want to go too small because maybe it looks crappy. But I don't know. However, this is how they look. Um, very classy. Something for New Year's, perhaps. And I got these guys for $19.95. Odd number. Okay, and what else? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Last but not least. Oh, right. I got this. Yes. 
this is an accessory. This is actually a top. It's uh, like a nylon top. It's really cute. It's, um, of course, a bit see-through. It's in black. Look how big it is. Of course, it stretches out. This is, um, yeah, it's a body. So, um, ooh, ding dong, ding dong. Maybe there's a package. One second. Okay, so, <clears throat> Had to rise downstairs and get my package. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, again, this nylon top that I was talking about, it's really cute. It's a little bit see-through, stretchy. I'm gonna model it for you all, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's cute. I'll show you how I'm gonna hook it up. So um, yeah, my package came in. From Naked, yes. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but right now, I'm sure you guys know. Right now, what's really in, what what is really in right now are these sequence pants. Um, in a, with a bootleg at the bottom. Um, I would call them something like uh, bell bottoms, but not really bell bottoms. But yeah, these sequence bell bottom pants. And um, the other day I tried a pair on. And I really loved them, but they were 400 euro, guys, 400 euro. The quality was great, but I was just thinking, man, if I pay 400 euro for some sequence pants, I'm going to be wearing them for a long time. I'm going to wear them for a long time. So I didn't get them. Um, I was debating, okay, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? And then my daughter was like, why don't you go online and see if you can find them elsewhere? And so um, we found a few and yeah, she told me to try out Naked Fashion. So here is the package. I ordered it like two, three days ago and it's already here. So I'm really impressed because that was really, really fast. Okay, it's not Amazon fast, but I mean, it got here quick so let's see let's see what these guys look like I was a bit skeptical I'm thinking oh man you know I don't know my size sometimes my size varies I mean the ones that I tried on the other day they were a size M a medium size and so um, I don't know I got these in a size I get them. what it looks like mm -hmm. um <clears throat> I got these also in a size M. Yeah, they call them flare sequence pants. So, let's see if they look good. I don't know, judging by the sequence. Um, these are like thin sequence. The other ones that I tried on, they, the, the sequence was a lot, you know, was you could tell there was some work put into them. Okay, so this is what they look like. Oh my gosh, I hope they're stretchy. Oh yeah, they feel a bit stretchy. This is what they look like. Ooh, very glittery. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Okay, they're not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna try one. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's see how they look. <laughs> I like trying on things. Aha. So, yes. Got some things to try on. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, I'm going to try those on. What else is going on? Ah, uh, la, 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 la. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't know if you guys know that show, Love is Blind. Oh, that is a must-see. Um, I just watched uh, season two, not just watched it, but yesterday I finished it. I started it like two days ago and I was totally into it. Um, at first I was like, I don't know if I want to watch that, but it is so good guys. I mean, it just goes to show you. Okay. Basically, I don't know if you all are familiar with, with the, um, what it, what it's about, but basically, um, several people get together, men and women, and um, they're placed in these rooms and they have to, yeah, they basically talk to one another and then see if they're going to fall in love. And if they fall in love, they have to get married. And so, of course, they're like, I don't know, how many couples were there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I think five couples and um, oh my gosh it is so good guys um, whoo it is really good um, I don't know it's 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 a it's a challenging thing because basically like I said you instead of you know normally you know you fall in love with the person when you see them right but this is different because you have to fall in love with that person with the character and not how they look on the outside and so it really puts people to the test to see if this method really works you know I, I think it works for some but for others it doesn't work you know and um yeah there are two couples on there that you know basically ooh, it's just like ooh, you know the guys fell in love with the girls but you know when they saw them it was just like okay you're not really my type um but I did fall in love with your character. <laughs> okay. It's a must-see. Um, I'm not going to go too much into details. I don't want to give any spoilers away. Um, but I don't know. It, it makes you think, would you do something like that? You know, I don't know. Could I go on a show and just basically try to fall in love with the person's voice? I mean... You know, one guy was saying that, you know, when he fell in love with this one girl, you know, he had a, he visualized how she would look. And then, you know, she turned out looking different and it was just like, oh my gosh, how do I do this? Although I still think I'm in love with her, but I'm just her, her, the way she looks is just, you know, just not doing it. I personally think, I think you got to fall in love with the whole package. You know, you have to. I think looks do play a good part, a big part, you know, because if that person looks like Godzilla, it's just like, ooh, I don't know if I can do this, you know. Um, I think it, you know, it, it's not something that that's very important, if that makes any sense. It, it's not like the number one factor, okay, looks. I think it's the whole package. Um, I think it's the whole package which counts. Looks is a part of it, but personality and style. You know, you can have a good personality, but if you don't have any style, oh my gosh, um, you know, um, I don't think it's going to work, honestly. Um, it, it's a whole, it's a whole package. I, I think it, it, it's more than just looks, you know, or just fall in love with the character. It's the whole package. And you see that take place, you know, and it's, it, it's an experiment, but, uh, it's an experiment which involves the family. So, I mean, in this, um, uh, season, or actually there's, this was the second season in general, you, you see how, um, people, yeah, it's, it's not, you know, most people think, okay, it's just the, the couple, but it's also family is involved. And, you know, at the end, they get married and they can either say if they want to marry this person or not. And I think it's hardcore when you get all the way up to the altar, your family's all there. And then, you know, you're just thinking, OK, I'm getting married. And then all of a sudden, the person that you think you're going to marry says, no, I don't want to be married with you. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, you know, and it's like, oh, no, I, could, I just could not do it. Um, however, it's a it's a must see. I'm sure when you start to watch it, you're going to be like, okay, I got to get to the next chapter, next, the next chapter, not chapter, uh, episode. Yeah. Got to get to the next episode, even all the way up to the reunion. The reunion is just like, wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the whole, the whole season is like, wow. I, I would say the first two, three episodes, the first, no, the first two episodes are kind of boring, but after that, it really picks up. So yeah, it's a must see. Yeah, what else? Oh yeah, and it's another thing too. Yes, 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 yes. Um, guys, um, somebody turned me on to this wine, and it is so cool. The wine is um, actually imported, or it's from the wine. Okay, the wine company is from Australia, but basically they have like like nineteen different wines. And on the wines, on the label part, they have like a picture of um, a person. I am assuming it's a true story. And um, basically the wine tells you a story or the person on the wine, on the, on the label 
tells a story about how they were casted out of England and got sent to Australia. You know, everybody knows that Australia um, started off as a prisoner island. A lot of people don't like to say it or admit it, but it's like that. And so, you know, each wine bottle has a different character or a different crime story of, yeah, basically how they got sent to um, England. But the cool thing, guys, is the wine talks to you. I know it, the wine label talks to you. I know it sounds crazy, but there's this app that you can download. I'm going to go get, I'm going to get this wine because you, it's a must see, guys. I think it is so cool. I was so shocked. Somebody introduced me to this wine at a party and um, I just thought I was so fascinated. Well, basically you, you download the app. Um, What's the app called? Uh, let, me, uh, let, me look, let me look it up. Ooh, loo, 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 loo. The wine is called, yeah, Living Wine Labels. And basically you download the app, you put the your phone up to the label, it scans it in, and all of a sudden the wine or the person comes alive and starts talking to you. It is so cool, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get the wine. I'm going to get a few of them. Now, okay, I must be honest. Um, Taste-wise, it's not really my taste of wine, but it's for entertainment purposes, it is so neat. Um, like I said, the wine itself, um, it's a little bit fruity for me. It's not my taste. I like my wines to be dry. So um, in that aspect, it's not so cool. But in general, it's, it's something for laughter. And yeah, it's a conversation piece. And you learn a little bit of history, um, yeah, about some of the criminals um, from Australia. Sounds bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Australia people who are from Australia. No offense, but however, it's interesting. It's definitely a, a conversation piece. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm going to mosey on. I don't want to make the video too long, and plus, I want to model uh, model for you all my sequence pants um yeah you guys know what to do if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you like to hear more from me subscribe now at the moment like i said guys i've been extremely jive and um i'm going to pick it up with my videos i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to but sometimes i just have those days where i'm just like uh and then i got so much going on and i don't have time so okay whatever however subscribe i do up I do put videos in, so sometimes they're not so um, constant, but I do put them up, so yeah. Subscribe, and yeah, turn on that notifi notification bell so that you guys will know when I do upload a video, and uh, yeah, stick around. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to finish up my makeup routine, and uh, yeah, at the bottom, you'll be able to see like... Um, which brands I used and I don't know perhaps I will use this Black Panther eyeliner I'm not 100% sure but I don't know maybe I'll try it out so you guys can get a feel of how it looks anyway till next time bye oh don't go nowhere now